Hello everybody, and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to talk about temperature danger zone and TCS foods. The term temperature danger zone is the range of temperature where bacteria can rapidly multiply to dangerous levels that can cause illness. This temperature range can vary depending on the food, but for most foods is between 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. It is important to know about this temperature range, as food that has remained in this zone for too long can double in bacteria every 15 to 20 minutes. Food that spends an excessive amount of time with inside the temperature danger zone is much more likely to be infected with microorganisms such as Salmonella, E. coli, and Campylobacter, among others. Several elements have an effect on the charge at which microorganisms develop in food, however, time and temperature are one of the most used elements in a food service kitchen to reduce the danger zone time that bacteria need to reproduce rapidly. Food that calls for time and, and temperature management to prevent bacterial growth that can cause foodborne illness, is called TCS foods. TCS foods have numerous traits that make it best for bacterial growth, which includes moisture, protein, and an impartial or barely acidic pH. Some examples of TCS food include eggs, fish, shellfish, baked potatoes, rice, bean sprouts, untreated garlic, oil mixtures, dairy products, and meat and poultry. Controlling how long TCS foods are in the temperature danger zone is pivotal to minimizing the risk of foodborne illness. Making sure to properly and rapidly cool down hot TCS foods to reduce foodborne illness is one of the most effective ways to control bacterial growth. There are TCS standards for time and temperature established by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration Food Code that help to ensure that food service professionals are properly reheating or cooling food that is served to consumers. Some examples of time temperature abused include foods that are cooked to the wrong internal temperature, food that is cooled or reheated improperly, or food that is held at the incorrect temperature. Maintaining food safety is critical for kitchens, restaurants, food manufacturing companies, and home kitchens. To keep food safe, it is needed to avoid time temperature abuse and follow proper practices of storage, thawing, cooking, cooling, and reheating. It is important to proper monitor temperatures at certain times. Food safety should be on everyone's mind when handling food. If you work in a food manufacturing environment, it is your duty to ensure that you are serving and handling food with the utmost respect to not cause any issues to the health of someone. Congratulations! You have now concluded our temperature danger zone and TCS foods training. Thank you, and if you enjoyed our video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel to check for the upcoming videos.